Today's episode of New Jersey Living is being filmed in Kearney, New Jersey. Kearney is another one of those locations, as you've seen some of my epi other episodes, I'll make mention of locations that are not very well known unless you are local to the, this area of North, uh, northern New Jersey. So Kearney, I'm going to throw up a quick map because we're going to jump into this right away. Uh, Kearney is a small town that is just east of Newark and it is west of Sea Caucus and just south of us is Harrison. So if you See my Harrison episode, which features a lot of rentals, a lot of rental properties. Carney is directly north of that. So I'm going to jump into the big three right away. So if you saw the map, you see that Carney is kind of straddled by two bodies of water. It's really a peninsula for all intents and purposes. Uh, north Arlington being uh, connected by land very uh, north of here. Uh, both the Passaic and Hackensack Rivers uh, travel south to converge and pour out into the Newark Bay. And Kearney is at the very bottom of that. And uh, half of the town, geographically speaking, pretty much is industrial or a lot of uh, highway that runs through it. Then we have a smaller uh, residential section. So we're gonna take a look at five properties today, uh, five being that three of them are on one street. So uh, they're gonna be in very quick succession of each other. So uh, I'm gonna jump into the big three right away. It is, as I pan around a little bit, uh, just to give a little bit of a view of the shopping uh, center. We have uh, a major grocery store locally. One of the major, one, major ones is ShopRite. It's neighboring uh, to this location where I am right now. This is where BJ's is with uh, uh, several other uh, smaller uh, stores. Next to us uh, is another portion of the shopping plaza and then across the street, which you might be able to see, uh, LA Fitness is there. And uh, directly behind us, although you can't see it, is the Passaic River that separates Carney from Newark. So uh, jumping to the big three right away because we're going to get right into the, these property views. Um, Carney is very, very close to New York City. We uh, could get to the Holland Tunnel easily in about 25 minutes. Um, and to the Lincoln, which would put us in the Midtown, would be about maybe half hour, somewhere in that range. More so because of traffic, not so much because of distance. Um, no train, however. No train in Kearney. Uh, Harrison does have one, but it's not a, a walkable situation. Uh, it's not a, a super convenient drive. A lot of the streets are uh, 25 mile an hour uh, streets that are local to Kearney, both in Harrison and in North Arlington. So it's, it's, it's quite hectic in the morning and in the afternoons to drive around uh, in commute time. A lot of commuters are, are using the, the paths, um, the path train in, in Harrison um, or North Arlington, although it does not have a train station, which you'll see in that episode, uh, will go to Lindhurst uh, for a train. So no train, and then we jump into schools. So we have a check for proximity, X for local train, schools, B minus on niche.com. And uh, as those who follow know, I reserve my check marks for A rated, some kind of A rating uh, in terms of school district. So Kearney is B minus, which doesn't mean it's a bad school at all, but just doesn't have the level of demand where people move here for schools. Okay, so not a check mark there. So we see uh, three of the big three, only one check mark of the big three, which obviously spills over into demand. And Kearney is not necessarily a high demand type of location, which means you can get a bargain in terms of price point for northern New Jersey, very close to New York City. And we're going to see some of that today. So I'm going to make my way over to our first stop and then dive into the details of the tour then. All right, see you there. Welcome to New Jersey Living. My name is Corey Jones and I'm a real estate agent here in New Jersey with Prestige Properties. And my job is to create content like this for viewers like you that are looking to learn all things about New Jersey, living in New Jersey specifically. Both the neighborhoods, iconic locations, dining locations, social scenes, uh, and specifically the real estate market. So today, as I mentioned earlier, we are here in Kearney, New Jersey. I'm gonna pan around to give you a little view of our first stop. We have three properties on this particular street that we're gonna take a look at today. 
Um, the property behind me, this is 8 Madison Ave. I'll pan up just a little so you get that full profile. Also, you can see down the uh, driveway here for the detached garage. Two bedroom, one bath. Listed at $399, sold at $400, and was on the market for 10 days. So this kind of gives you an idea of price point again, as I mentioned in a recent episode, where uh, the property is right around that 400,000 mark that are in nice residential areas are not lasting that long because there's still a good amount of buyers shopping in that 400 range. So this one didn't last very long and that kind of reflects this uh, kind of setting that we're looking at that I panned around, I'll pan around again because we're about to cross the street uh, to take a look at uh, the neighbor's home who just sold as well. Um, but Kearney is that residential community that's in a relatively urban setting. So as I mentioned before, we're by Newark. Uh, we're at the northern end of Kearney right now, just uh, close to the border of North Arlington, which is another community can kind of reflects a similar dynamic, more residential, but urban surroundings. Uh, Belleville is across the Passaic River uh, and to the other side, to the east, uh, would be Sea Caucus. So like Sea Caucus, you're gonna find nice, quiet residential neighborhoods. Uh, it's just that Kearney doesn't have the high rate of school system uh, that Sea Caucus does. Neither neither does um, Kearney have the train stations. All right, so this right here, but gives you an idea of that entry level starter home. And we're gonna step directly across the street for our number two property on Madison Ave, which is uh, definitely a different price point and you'll see why. So I'll see you there. So as I mentioned, directly across the street from eight Madison is number seven Madison. And I'm gonna pan up to give a profile there. And I'm also gonna pan down a little so you get an idea of uh, that aesthetic, what they have with the paved uh, walkway and driveway. Uh, this property is three bedroom, one bath, and certainly different level um, of, of condition, if, if you will. Uh, list price was 550, sold at 550. Uh, flash up here as well, days on market and uh, tax information as well. Um, but relatively speaking, very, very well maintained property. Uh, and again, you've seen the neighborhood aesthetic, but I'll still pan around a little more. Uh, we even have a property that is listed for sale uh, beside number seven. It's probably number, I guess, number five uh, on Madison Ave. But nice, quiet residential area. Homes are pretty well updated or well maintained on this block. So um, certainly a great opportunity for someone looking to get more of a bargain than paying more of a premium in some of the other similar locations like a sea caucus all right so uh bayonne will be another option although bayonne's aesthetic is certainly different than carney carney's more residential looking uh bayonne has more of that midway uh urban and residential feel as you referenced that um episode if you want to go back and take a look so we have one more property here on madison i'm going to take a walk down to that next property i'll see you there here we are half a block down at our third property on Madison Ave. This is 21 Madison right here behind me, um, right here in front of the driveway that leads back to what looks like a two car garage. So another three bedroom, one bath property. This one listed at 499, sold at 480 after about two months on the market. So that two months typically is reflective of some of those upgrades just not being there that really are eye catching and draw a lot of attention immediately. All right, usually that is the case. Uh, but again, you, as I pan around, even down on this section of the block, you can see as I turn around, many of the homes are pretty consistent one with another. Smaller colonials here for the most part, uh, a few kind of Cape style homes, um, but nice, relatively quiet block. Um, and for purchases in that 400 to mid 500 range, not bad at all, considering North Jersey and we are literally within a half hour drive to Manhattan. All right, so that gives the bargain of Carney. All right, so we're gonna be off to our next two, as you can probably tell. It We are losing light. It is well into the fall season here. So yeah, light gets very scarce as you get into mid and late afternoon here in New Jersey this time of year. So we're gonna skip over to our next two. I'll see you there. Right, 
we've left Madison and here we are at 633 Chestnut. So this property is a three bedroom, two bath and was listed at 499, sold at 495. Uh, it was on the market for a little ways. And again, that typically comes down to what type of recent upgrades there were in terms of the overall condition um, of the property. Pan around just a little and you can see that we're again in a neighborhood mostly colonial style homes and in this case uh they are on smaller lot sizes which is not uncommon in jersey in different sections of town you'll tend to find different lot sizes in town uh that would generally speaking reflect in pro property taxes also uh, but that's kind of a general guideline very much um missed in the intro meant to mention please do click like subscribe and notification bell to stay updated uh we're trying to move so quickly because we don't have a whole lot of daylight left left uh but do uh, subscribe if you want to continue to get the message out about new jersey living and what type of information that anyone who is interested in new jersey can learn about look into stay in touch add some commentary of course and ask any questions that you like to pose on the channel. This is very much a community channel. All right, so uh, this is just before our final stop, but uh, give one, one little bit of a pan around again. All right, and we will see you at the next stop. Here we are at our final Carney stop on today's tour. We are on a cul-de-sac, 12 Healy Terrace. Beautiful, beautiful cul-de-sac. Um, each home is really, truly unique. Um, 21 was well done. It's only two bedroom, two full bath. This one is worth going to Zillow or Compass.com or Redfin just to take a look at the photos. Um, it was pretty spectacularly upgraded. So th this had upgrades throughout, listed at 599. Uh, sold at 635 and was on the market basically two weeks. All right, so um, this would not fit a larger family kind of scenario, of course, but if it's a, uh, you know, a younger family or an individual or someone who doesn't have kids, uh, this would be a, a great option if being to in near proximity to New York City was a priority. Uh, and still wanted to keep a relatively conservative budget, which 400 to six, low 600, which what we've looked at today is definitely a very moderate budget for the region that we're in. Um, and there are a few places that you're gonna find, which you can find uh, the prices here in, in a location like Harney that's that close to New York City. So um, this is a, definitely was a, in my estimation, a very, very sound purchase. And again, just to keep panning, uh, let's take a second pan uh, for the cul-de-sac and all these homes are very, very well maintained. I'm looking at the lawns, they're well manicured. Um, and then a very larger home right here on the opposite side of the cul-de-sac. So, and the incline. So we are very close where we are right now to the Passaic River. Uh, but you probably can't tell where I'm standing right now, but I'm very much on an incline. So elevation purposes um, is very likely that there was no flood risk here. Uh, the lower you are towards water level near one of the rivers, as you can imagine, can imagine it's going to be more of a concern with uh, any type of flood insurance implications. So I can't speak 100% on what the scenario is right here, but it gives some type of uh, sense of security or relief that there's some elevation here. Uh, so this will conclude Kearney as we are definitely at twilight <laughs> here at our uh, rare twilight episode of New Jersey Living. So Jersey hunters who have been following me all along, thank you again for joining. Those who are new, I want to welcome you aboard. Thank you for watching. Please do click like, subscribe, notification bell. Stay updated and stay tuned because we have more coming your way. All right, stay safe until the next, the next episode.